welcome to this third installment of Five Myths Busted, Things I Wish I'd Known When I Wrote My First Novel. If you're just joining us today, you can catch up on Myths 1 and 2 via the links in the email. There is a link at the bottom and you can catch up on those other videos there. Today, we're gonna to be tackling a myth that has <laughs> struck fear into many a novelist. In fact, so much so that many of them never feel they can begin the book, let alone deal with this one. And what I'm talking about is the myth that the middle of writing a book is torture. There are many terms and phrases to do with this that refer to this point when you've gotten past the honeymoon stage of starting to write your book, but you haven't yet reached the point where adrenaline kicks in, everything's clicking in place, and you're just hurtling towards the end point. It's where you feel this, this pause, and I'm certain that you've heard the term the messy middle. And this is referring to this point. But the thing about middles is it can actually be fun to write them. This might be crazy to say, but it is possible. And the way you can have fun writing the middle of your book is if you know two things. Thing number one, conflict is your friend, not your enemy. And this is because most of us hold back. We get squeamish. We get nervous about inserting more and more conflict into our stories. In fact, conflict is the opposite of how it operates in real life. The more conflict you have, the easier it is to write. For example, think about which of these two scenarios you would rather write about. Jane, has a perfectly good day, goes to work, nothing much happens, and she comes home. Or Jane wakes up to find that the toilet in her bathroom has exploded and is flooding the bathroom, possibly down into her downstairs neighbor's flat. At the same time, while she's trying to negotiate with a plumber, she has to figure out how to get dressed and get to work because she has a very important presentation for a visiting Uber boss who is going to be part of the committee to decide whether she gets a huge promotion. And she needs this promotion because her mother is very ill and is going to need expensive medical care. Now, which of these two scenes or scenarios would be easier for you to start generating ideas about and start writing? The more conflict you have, the easier it is to keep writing. So this is tip number one. Tip number two is that you must avoid protective author syndrome. Now we just discussed character in the previous myth. So I know that I've told you to treat your characters like they're real people existing in a parallel universe and that you're their biographer and you need to ask good questions and get to know them. The natural result of this is that you're gonna get attached to your characters. You're gonna care about them and you're gonna feel invested in how they live their lives, what happens to them. However, you must not allow the affection and love you feel for these characters to cause you to put them in a bubble. Don't keep your characters in a bubble. The best thing that you can do for them is to rain hellfire down on them. That is the best thing that you can do for your book and especially for the middle of the drafting process. Now, a hellfire is gonna look different for every character. It might be quite subtle. It might be something we ourselves are not scared about as the authors, but is terrifying to our characters. We see this all the time in books. If your book is floundering in the middle, the questions, that I recommend asking are, how can I make this conflict more intense? How can I dial up this conflict? And it can be something simple, like the exploding toilet before our character Jane has to go in for her big presentation. But can you throw an obstacle and some conflict in the way so that your character has more to overcome? Second, ask yourself, am I holding back because I don't wanna put my character through something unpleasant? 
Am I protecting them? Am I trying to make life easy for them? Am I trying to make everything nicer? In adjusting these two elements and these two thought processes, you can have your story humming along again in almost every case, increasing the conflict and dialing back on protective author syndrome will have your story back on track. Of course, at any point when you're writing a novel, there are, there are times when you feel stuck. There are times when things don't work quite as well as you would like them to. However, by looking at these two elements and trusting yourself, like we looked at earlier in the series, you are capable of getting through these tricky points. Okay, tomorrow we will be moving on to myth number four and we'll be exploring, assessing whether you have a good idea or not and myths surrounding ideas about books. I can't wait to talk about that one. It's one of my favorites. So have a wonderful day and I will see you then.